Here is a word problem with a given pie chart. How should we approach it? Step 1. Understand the problem. Read the entire word problem thoroughly. Study the given diagram and make observations. The given pie chart shows the number of people that went to a cinema on a particular day. 1,080 people went to the cinema that day. There are three parts to this question. Let us take a look at the first part of the question first. It asks for the number of women that were at the cinema. From the pie chart, it is 25% of the total number of people. Now that we have made our observations, let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. The total number of people present at the cinema on that day was 1,080. So the number of women present is 25% of 1,080. Now that you have an idea on how to find the solution, we'll move on to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. So we write, number of women equals 25 over 100 times 1,080. This gives us 270. Now let's write the statement. There were 270 women. Let us now look at the next part of the question. We are required to find the ratio of the number of women to the number of girls. From the pie chart, we can see that the number of girls is given. As for the number of women, we have found it in the first part of the question. Now that we have made our observations, we are ready to proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. We have found earlier that the number of women present was 270. The number of girls is given in the pie chart, 405. We have the necessary information to find the required ratio. Now let's move on to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. The number of women is 270 and the number of girls is 405. Let's divide both sides of the ratio by 9. And now reduce the ratio further by dividing both sides by 15. And we have the ratio in the lowest terms, 2 to 3. Now let's write the statement. The ratio was 2 to 3. Let us now look at the last part of the question. We are required to find the number of boys present at the cinema given the ratio of the number of men to the number of boys. The total number of men and boys must be found before we can apply the given ratio to find the number of boys. Now that we have made our observations, we are ready to proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. We are given the total number of people and the number of girls. We have also found the number of women. To find the total number of men and boys, we can take the given total number of people and subtract the number of girls and women from it. Once that is found, we can apply the given ratio to find the number of boys. Now we are ready to move on to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. So we write, number of men and boys equals 1,080 minus 405 minus 270. This is equal to 405. Now we are ready to apply the given ratio to find the number of boys. First, find the number of parts in the ratio. It is 9. So 9 parts of the ratio is equal to 405. 
1 plus of the ratio is equal to 405 divided by 9. This is equal to 45. The number of boys is 5 parts of the ratio. So 5 parts of the ratio is equal to 45 times 5. This is equal to 225. Now let's write the statement. There were 225 boys at the cinema. Are our answers correct? Let's find out in the next step. Step 4. Check back. Verify the answers. Let us verify our answers. The total number of people at the cinema was 1,080. Let's see if the number of people in the four groups adds up to 1,080. Number of men and boys equals 405. Number of women and girls equals 270 plus 405. This is equal to 675. Now let's find the total number of people. So the total number of people is equal to 405 plus 675. This is equal to 1080. Hence, our answers are all correct. Terrific! We have solved the problem.